So today was a zero day, which uh, was a great opportunity to do some laundry right next to the hotel at a laundromat. Josh met me at a coffee shop. Uh, I had a smoothie. It's so nice to dry things out after all the cold weather and the condensation in the tent and uh, have the laundry done, start to organize how I can get my pack weight down and uh, psyched. So one great thing about coming into town is that you can get some of those things that uh, maybe you didn't prepare for, like blisters and get some of the things to protect you. So I had a little explosion of the Band-Aids and Blister Medic, primarily because of these little guys that get into my boots. Um, there's a lot of sandy, gravelly ground on the trail and I had some blisters, nothing horrible, but uh, now I'm all bandaged up, ready to go. Gotta say, I'm not a big fan of peanut butter and jelly on the trail. So I went and got some more chicken creations with my Arby sauce and hopefully that'll be a good combination at least get me through the next few days. But man, it doesn't disappoint. Came through again. Thanks. After I got everything I needed in town, Andrew and I hopped on a series of three trolleys and buses to get back up to Red's Meadow. Uh, we stopped at Mammoth Mountain Lodge and transferred onto a shuttle bus. It took about an hour and a half to get from town to Red's. So the Suttons are gonna stay the night in the Shiloh Inn for one more night. This is our zero day. They're gonna meet me up here uh, in the morning or else we'll just hike out separately. And I'm gonna stay at the Red's Meadow Resort in motel room number one. Thought I'd give a little walking tour of Red's Meadows complex. The cafe isn't um, open for seating, but still serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I love the food there. And uh, the store is stocked with most everything that you need as a hiker. And uh, people are super nice there. And My accommodations for the night. Got my resupply bucket, my backpack, but I was a fool and left my trekking poles on the bus that I took up from Mammoth Mountain. So I'm gonna have to wait outside and hope that bus driver keeps circling around and that my poles are still in there. But this is uh, motel room number one in Red's Meadow. It's got a bathroom and a shower and uh, definitely isn't fancy, but it'll do the job. Although the bus did circle around, the trekking poles unfortunately were not on it. So I had to punt and I called Mammoth Mountaineering. They were awesome. They uh, let me buy trekking poles over the phone and Josh was nice enough to pick them up since they're still in Mammoth. Once that problem was solved, they headed over to the hot spring, which is apparently a secret at the backpackers campground. So now I'm making the last second decisions on how to keep my pack weight down and have enough food to get through to Mirror Trail Ranch. It's all spread out on the bed and at Red's Meadow. And uh, then I'm gonna put everything together and get some sleep. <laughs> 